Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And today I'm here to tell you about the 2017 Keystone Passport 195RB. Let's go ahead and start up front here. We'll make our way around, then we'll head on in. So you have your two propane tanks up here, 20 pounds each, the nice black cover. This is easy to get into as well. You have the double thumb screws here, lift up the door, and that will give you access to your tanks. Right behind that, you see you have rails there for your battery box. And then coming up the front right here is black diamond plating. This helps protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way, hopefully it doesn't beat up your nice front end. If you take a look over to the side, you'll see right in the diamond plating, that little cap right there, that is to solar prep. So if you do want solar on this coach, if you plan on doing some boondocking, or if you just want to trickle charge your battery, it's already prepped for it by the panels, plug it in and it will do the rest. Also, you'll notice over there you have a light in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. When you come around to the side, you can see the pass-through storage here. It does have a cover on the hinge, that way you don't get rust coming all down the door. Nice wide door here on the passport. And you'll also notice it is a magnetic latch, that way you don't have any plastic tabs or anything to break on the side. So uh, as I mentioned, when you take a look in there, take a look at how big the door is on the off door side there too. It's the same size door, which is great. Uh, you have an LED light in there, and also you can see the aluminum framing because the Passport is an aluminum frame, which is nice and rigid, helps the strength, and also helps keep it lightweight. You see the power awning across the top? That's just a touch of a button to roll that guy out. Same thing to have it go back in. And you have an LED light strip underneath. So that way, if you want light at night, you just flip a switch instead of having to climb up there on a ladder and hanging up your Christmas lights. And then underneath the power awning, you see the two exterior speakers. Uh, those are controlled by the multimedia center inside. Right here, you see uh, the electrical outlet. So if you need to plug anything in out here, it's easy to do so. And the thing I like about this is, look, you don't have any vents or anything right here. You don't have a refrigerator vent. You don't have a furnace vent. So this is all great, easy, usable camp space. You don't have a bunch of hot air blowing on you. So if you want to put a table out here and plug in a crock pot, it's a perfect place to do it right there underneath the awning. If you want to cook outside, you can do that too. Take a look right here. You have your propane quick connect. Again, that's underneath the awning too. So if you want to plug in your grill right there, you're good to do so. That way you can use the two 20 pound bottles up front instead of buying the little ones separate. It is nice and easy to get in the 195. You see you have two steps right there to climb on in. And the first one is nice and low so it doesn't hurt the knees. When you come around to the back side, you'll notice you do have the spare tire here. Uh, hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, you know it's riding right back here for you. Also, built into uh, the, the bumper here, now it's not your standard steel tube bumper, so what they did is they have this guy, which is where your sewer hose stores. It's nice and easy, just unthread that and you can slide it right in there. Right underneath here is your termination with both your gray and black uh, tank valves. And then you'll notice right up there is an outside shower that does have both hot and cold water access. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Keystone Passport 195RB. This particular model is in the granite interior. To start off on the kitchen. Uh, for being a smaller coach, this actually has a lot of nice amenities in the kitchen. Starting off with our full-size refrigerator-freezer combo. You can see you have a nice cutout here for some taller items there as well. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Then as you come over, take a look at the countertop space in here. This is more than you get in some coaches that are an extra three, four foot bigger. You have good prep space right here and you have the dual sink top covers in there, allowing you to use the sink as prep space as well. High rise faucet and the double bowl sink. The left one is bigger than the right there. Make it nice and easy to wash and rinse dishes. Then right over here is your three burner cooktop. The front one is high output. Underneath you have an oven in case you wanna do some baking. As far as storage underneath, take a look at that. You have some good extra storage right there. And then right here, you have two full extension ball bearing drawers, which are perfect for silverware. And then some of your bigger utensils like uh, serving spoons, spatulas, things of that nature. Then right underneath the sink here, you have a built-in shelf with more additional storage. 
Working our way up a little bit, you will see right over here, uh, you have a window, so that way it lets in a lot of natural light there. Uh, during night, however, you do have an LED light to help brighten that up. You'll also see right over here, you have an electrical outlet. So if you need to plug in a coffee maker or anything, you go ahead and put it right here. Again, you have that big open space. Also underneath your cabinets here is a fully functional hood with a light and fan. Then right up top is your microwave. And next to that, you have this beautiful raised panel cabinetry with brushed nickel poles. When we open that up, you'll see it is a wide open space. And you don't have a style here in the middle. So if you have larger items or uh, some kind of organizer for your spices you want to stick up there, you can easily accomplish that. So we take a look at the very front of the RV here, you will see this has a Murphy bed in the floor plan, which for a smaller floor plan like this, I think is a great idea because normally you can't fit a dinette and a couch in here, but with the Murphy bed, you're able to do just that. So let me show you how uh, quickly and easily this sets up. To start off, this is your jackknife sofa right here. You'll see it is the leatherette material, which is nice. And if you take a look, Look at all the storage you have underneath there. So with a Murphy bed, you're certainly not losing out on any storage. And what this does is it drops down just like your standard jackknife. Tuck these cushions in just like this. You will have these locks on either side. You kind of turn these up so they're in the middle position and that will allow you to pull them out. When they're up or down like this, that is a locked position. So we'll do the same thing here. We'll pull that. You'll see you have this nice handle right here. You can use this makes it pretty simple, and then it drops down just like so. You can then take your mattress. Of course, obviously this one is still wrapped up, so it's a little bit harder to move here, but then it folds out just like that. And that is your bed. Uh, now, if you don't want to make it up, you can leave it down like this half the time. If it's just two of you that are going out camping a lot, leave it just like that. And then if you have guests, you can fold it up, have a couch, an extra place for people to sit. On both sides of the bed here, you see you have mirrored wardrobe space. You can see the hanging rod there for any clothes you want to hang. And then you have shelves up top here as well. Uh, you'll also see there is an uh, electrical outlet over there in case you need to plug anything in. And you have windows on both sides to allow for a nice cross breeze. Let's take a look at the camp side of the RV. This is one of my favorite things when manufacturers are able to accomplish this. And that is having a camp side dinette. The reason is while you're sitting here enjoying your breakfast or your coffee in the morning, you get a view of your campsite and that's what you want to look at. You don't want to stare at your neighbors in the morning. You want to be able to see your own campsite and that is what you can do here. Uh, this dinette does drop down into a bed if you need the additional sleeping space. The other thing I like about it is if you take a look at the seat cushions here, they are nice and wide so you have, they're comfortable to sit in and they're leatherette so that way they are nice and easy to clean up too. Of course, the window uh, opens up there again for a great cross breeze through here. And as I mentioned, this is the granite interior there. LED light for nighttime. And then if you take a look up at the cupboards here, you get a nice uh, open space right there, big cubby hole. Right in between here, you have two USB ports. This is your speaker control. So you can control the, you can uh, turn it to have the speakers inside playing, outside, or you can do both at the same time if you so desire. Right here is your multimedia center. Uh, I briefly talked about this when we were outside because as I said, it controls the speakers out there. That is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to hook up to that with a uh, smartphone or iPhone, tablet, whatever, you can certainly do that. Right over here, you have some extra storage. You'll see that uh, you have the nice tinted glass on the front there. Again, big storage area. And then right here underneath, you will notice an electrical outlet. So if you need to uh, plug anything in while you're here, tablet, computer, again, that is the place to do it. The other thing I like about this floor plan is this right here. Your TV is on a swing arm mount. Uh, so it, it allows you to basically watch TV from anywhere in the RV. If you cook it in the kitchen, you already have a good view. You know, if you're sitting in a dinette, you can turn it out. Or again, probably the best place to watch is right on the sofa of the Murphy bed. And you can swing that out and have a great view here to the TV. Uh, right over here, this is a versatile storage space. Uh, Passport puts this in almost all of their RVs. And again, I think this is something that's very nice. It allows for some customization depending on how you want to load up your camper. You have removable shelves in case you want to take those out. You can always leave them in, use this as pantry. They also give you a hanging rod across the top here in case you need that extra wardrobe space. Speaking of wardrobe space, take a look at this back here. 
you have a ton of wardrobe space here really allows you to have uh, you know a lot of clothes for camping for longer periods of time you know if you want to go out for a couple weeks at a time normally you run out of clothes and because small travel trailers like this certainly don't come with wash or dryer you have to travel somewhere to wash your laundry here you can certainly have clothes for as I mentioned a longer period of time uh, you have the nice shelf right up here you can see the window there electrical outlet here too so if you do want to plug anything in there there it is very simple to do that then in the back corner is our bathroom as this is a rear bath you can see your foot flush lever toilet right down here uh, over next to that is your shower I like the doors on here they're in the roller track so that way uh, as you're getting out of your shower all the water just goes right down into the shower pan rather than falling all over the floor and then you can see right here you have the hand wand some shelves and then up top you have a nice big skylight letting in a lot of natural light. Right over to the side is our mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind that. And then uh, right down below is the sink and then you have some additional storage underneath. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2017 Keystone Passport 195RB. This one is in the granite interior. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, I recommend you give us a call here at American RV, or you can take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.